Alrighty, hello and welcome back to the Isaiah Johnson Survival School. We're talking about acorns. Now this is the second video in our series, so if you haven't seen the first one, feel free to go back and watch that. It's about collecting acorns, a little bit of information about acorns in general. Uh, but today what we're going to be doing is shelling these acorns, getting the nut meat out of the shells, and then we're going to head on upstairs and we are going to blend these acorns up and put them in big jars full of water to soak out all of the tannins and take them from being these really bitter, inedible nuts to being a delicious, nutty, usable, yummy flower. Uh, so this is really the important stuff right here, all the preparation and everything. So um, yeah, let's get started. And what I wanna start with is my little setup here. So as you can see here, I've got my acorns here that I collected the other day. And then I have these old acorns that we've been storing for multiple years all dried out. And I'm actually going to try to keep these separate just because I don't exactly know what the old acorns are going to do. And uh, so I'm going to make two separate batches. They'll probably be really similar based on everything that I know, but I'm just going to uh, try to keep them separate just in case these old ones end up being a little funky. Uh, but then over here, I have a little towel with a bunch of acorns on them. And then I have this big firewood log that I'm going to use as my crusher. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crush the nuts right here on the towel very lightly. They'll crack open, then I can peel the shells off, and uh, the towel will just keep the mess from getting all over my carpet. And then I got my jar where I'm going to put the nut meats in there, and a little bucket where I'll put the shells. So that's how I'm going to be doing this, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take a little time lapse, but let's just get started. Hey, so I'm stopping the time lapse in the middle just because popping a bunch of nuts with this thing all in a row is super ASMR, super satisfying, and I just wanted you all to appreciate it. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm just uh, finishing up the uh, old dry batch before I move on to the newer batch. Um, but I wanted to just really quickly say, I think I found a pretty decent um, technique for getting these guys, which is to just crack them all first before you start to peel off uh, the shells. So I just, I just line them up and I'm just going bam, 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 and I and you know I get I get all of them at once, and then I go back over and I peel off the shells. So that's kind of how I'm doing it. Um, so I'm gonna move on to those uh, new fresh ones soon, and then after that we'll grind them up and turn them into flour. What's up guys? So it's uh, the next day and uh, I actually figured I'd make a quick run to the hardware store to pick up some extra glass mason jars to soak the nuts in. And so I did that this morning just because I figured we have so many nuts that we might as well use uh, a few extra mason jars. And um, yeah, last night I did a lot of cracking. I think I was probably cracking for uh, a grand total of like three hours. So, you know, I was watching some Netflix. I actually found that with the newer acorns, a lot of them were infested with worms, which 
you know, obviously I was trying to avoid, um, but clearly I did not do a good enough job checking those over. You know, this is in hindsight some warning that when you are gathering your acorns, make sure you check them pretty thoroughly for holes and for discoloration and for odd shapes. Um, I clearly did not do a good enough job of that. Uh, but yeah, I'm heading on home from the hardware store now, and then we're gonna grind up those acorns in the blender and stick them in some water, put them in those mason jars and let them soak. So yeah, heading on home and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at home. All right, we are home and it's officially time to start leaching out those tannins. So I got my bowl of acorns. These are the fresh ones and I'm just gonna give them a rinse really quick here in the sink. Um, and there's little, little bits of stuff in there that are floating out and getting caught off in the water. All right, now that I've got those rinsed off, I'm gonna load them up into the blender with a little bit of water. All right, so we got our acorns in the blender with some water and we're gonna blend it up, make a little acorn smoothie. So let's get this thing going. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start on low. We're gonna work our way up to high. Got a little clumpy, so I think I could use a little bit more water. All right, let's do it again. All right, as you can see, we have, you know, around 52-ish uh, ounces of this acorn stuff. So I'm gonna split that evenly between these two smaller jars. Um, See, so here we go. Pretty good, and then we'll put the rest into this one. Boom. And then we're gonna want to fill up the remainder of these jars with water. So I'm gonna, you know, use this uh, blender just to get the last little bits of the acorn out. Now we're just gonna do the exact same thing with our older dried nuts. And um, I'm gonna put those into the larger mason jars. So you can see now that by the time I filled up the big jars with the old acorns, these ones that I did first have started to separate into these nice layers. And we have this golden liquid on top, which is all the dissolved tannins in the water. And so what I'm gonna do from here on out is twice a day, I'm gonna come by and I'm gonna dump off the top water because what we're really going for is, you know, these opaque layers down here. So I'll dump off the top water and replace it with new fresh water, give it a little stir, because uh, that'll help keep it from fermenting. Um, and yeah, I'll just do that twice a day, in the morning and in the evening, until um, I can taste the ground up nuts and they don't taste bitter anymore. So yeah, we'll check back in every few days um, and I'll update you guys on the progress, but that's pretty much all you do. Just blend it up, put it in the jars and let it soak. All right, so that's all for today. Next time we're gonna dry out our acorn flour and use it in some baking, so stay tuned for part three. But thank you all for watching. Bye, peace.